Most sands encountered all over the world lack the engineering properties necessary for use in construction. Not all the sands are similar, but most of them share two important characteristics. Small grains and the lack of fine particles in between those grains. Beach sand is made of round particles from water erosion, which further compounds the problems that sand presents. Transporting large amount of road building materials has a negative impact on the environment and happens to be very costly. Therefore, finding ways to make up for these inherent deficiencies of sand has been the subject of study for many years. By combining two technologies, one chemical, polymer, and the other one mechanical, geofiber, many scholars and engineers have found reliable, alternative, affordable ways to stabilize the sand. We're talking about using polymer as a binder and geofiber as a mixing additive to increase the cohesion and the CBR. Geofibers add mechanical stabilization to the soil in the same way fiberglass fibers add tensile strength to concrete. When they are combined, geofibers and polymer increase tensile strength, cohesion, shear strength, and compressive strength. This is straight out of uh, Rod Collins' uh, master's thesis in Alaska. If you plan to experiment with geofiber in sand, adding 0.5 to 0.8 percent of the total soil mix by weight is a good place to start. Then you could work your way backwards from there. See how much you can reduce it before you start to lose structural integrity. Maybe with a bad sand you would actually have to increase this ratio. Now, if an aggregate that has 200 sieve particles is available, it can also be tested in addition to geofibers or as a substitute. Always experiment and take notes. Nobody can give you a perfect formula. Each project brings its own variables and complexities to the table. Good luck!